What's up guys? Uh Crow here with another video. Uh a long day of work <clears throat> on uh you know on a schedule. It says five to ten, but of course I'm a good dude. I try to be uh a good worker, so of course I show up ten minutes early, maybe fifteen. Um and I'm the closing guy. I don't know if that means I'm the bitch, but Hopefully not, but I am the closer, so they close at 10, so of course I'm there for another half hour. But anyway, before I go into too much detail, of course we gotta pack our lip with some Copenhagen Long Cut. Uh, just, you know, original, natural, whatever you want to call it. Satisfaction. That's satisfaction guaranteed, I'll go ahead and say that. Satisfaction since uh, 1822 with the WC. Don't remember his first name, but we damn well know his last name. All right. <clears throat> I got to say, I love the cardboard um, bottoms. I guess you call it cardboard. It's got a little bit of wax paper in the bottom, I guess. Not a sponsor. I'm not even going to say the name of it because I'm not a sponsor. Got to make that clear. Let's go ahead and grab a pinch of this bitch right here. That Copenhagen long cut. Um, the creator of Mud Jug. His favorite is Copenhagen long cut, I believe. I just happened to get it. I didn't get it because of that reason. I just happened to get it because I haven't tried it yet. I'll, I'll go ahead and put a little more. We'll put a little more tonight, boy. Oh, yeah. Got to go back to the first mud jug I bought. The uh, Navy work uniform camo. I just call it the blue camo. Cause if you're wearing blue, if you're wearing not blue, but if you're wearing blue, you already know where you're at. You're in the, you're working in the navy, or you're a police officer for you know, the state, at least the state of Virginia that I know of. Or if you're wearing blue, you might be in New York. Um, I do want to talk about a couple things. Before I go too far, uh, let's go ahead and review this a little bit. You know the smell. Let's go ahead and crack it back open. The smell is definitely not the best. Especially, you know, if you're a fruity person out there. <laughs> I don't mean gay. If you're just fruity in the fruity dips. No, uh, I'm not harassing you. I'm just saying fruity. I'm not saying fruity gay, but this smells horrible compared to fruit, but it still smells good. Like Red Seal Natural, I don't know if I said this in my review, but it smells like cologne. But yeah, Red Seal Natural smells like cologne. This... I don't know. It just smells manly. That's all I can say. It doesn't smell dirty like most naturals. Or some dips, anyway. It doesn't smell dirty. It smells more like something you'd find if you're working in an auto shop. Like, you just you just changed someone's oil. And, I don't know. You took a whiff of it. It smells like, you know, some old oil or something. And I just realized I took a fucking monster lip. Because here's the bulge, but it's fucking a lip a dip all the way across. I didn't realize I fucking put in like a a hammer, a hammer hog, or whatever they want to call it these days. Oh yeah, 
And that right there, that's for anybody wanting to come in my room. Get the brass knuckle knife too right there. Got the fucking clown right there. I feel like a weatherman trying to point around. But the Copenhagen long cut, it feels fine cut, but at the same time, the pinch, you know, pinching it out of the can is not the best. Um, it's a little harder than other dips because it does say long cut, but it feels like a fine cut when you're pin when you're pinching it with your fingers. Uh, I mean, I give the pinch a six. It's not the best. It's not the worst. At the same time, once you get it in your lip, the pack is great. I give the pack an eight out of ten. The pinch makes it feel like it won't pack good. But once you get it in, the pack is great. You know, it's Copenhagen. WC know what he's doing. If he got if he's got C in his name, he already knows what he's doing. Cause I got a C in my name. I don't know if I don't know if I'm doing all this right, but I have an excuse tonight. I was thinking about making uh some alcohol reviews. Cause after work I like to drink a shot or two anyway. Uh I don't know if you'd call that old school, but I was seeing a lot of old movies, like the, the man would come home and just immediately take a shot before he even says, before he even says, Lucy, I'm home. You know, Ricky's in the other room taking a shot. Um, overall, on Copenhagen Wintergreen, give you all a better look at it. I ripped up the can on accident. I didn't mean to. Let's go ahead and line this up. I didn't mean to rip it all up, but I just cut my nails for work. I had to use my key to open it. <laughs> I should have had a pocket knife on me. A man should always have a pocket knife on him. Not for violence. Mostly for little things like that, opening the can of dip. But, uh... I don't know why I didn't have one on me. I own like uh, five, you know, pocket knives. I don't know why I didn't have one with me. This shit is juicing up like a mother. I seriously got a dip all the way across my lip right now. I usually don't do that much. But for this video, I will, I guess. This is gonna be a longer one than usual, I can already tell. But there's a couple things I, I want to talk about. But I'm trying to get this uh, review over with. You know, the overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. Copenhagen Natural, it's not my favorite natural, but I can understand why it's a lot of people's favorites. It's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. I can already tell the last ability, at least for how much I packed, the last ability is good. I don't know how long, because I'm not the type of dude that keeps a dip in for an hour. I usually spit it out, you know, 30 minutes tops. This one might have been for 25, 30 minutes. Pretty good. Uh, I want to talk about Enzo Amore a little bit. I watched that Enzo Amore uh, tattoo story. I forgot what the whole thing was called, but it's on WWE uh, channel. Um, his tattoos mean a lot, and I didn't know that. And to, to learn that much about Enzo, like, it makes me respect him more. Even though he's, like, one of my favorite wrestlers right now. Even though him and Big Cass use the same moves almost every match, I'm okay with that. They got they got enough attitude to uh, to do that. I mean, Enzo he he has a lot of moves. Big Cass he only has a handful of moves, but I'll accept it. I like him. I mean, you gotta think back in the day, like Kane and shit like that. Like they didn't have many moves. But they uh, they had the aggressiveness. Uh, yeah, 
the review on this is over, so you can go ahead and click out if you want. I'm going to keep on talking about WWE and maybe a little bit about Pokemon Go since that's the big thing right now. I had to download it. I loved Pokemon as a little kid. You know, I was I was a little kid as it got big. <clears throat> I had to buy the, the Pokédex, the little red Pokédex. I had that when I was five years old. I wish I still had it. I'd show it to you right now. I don't know how many hours I spent on that thing. And all you did on it was search Pokemon and, you know, you could learn their, what type of Pokemon they were, what they evol evolved to and all that. There was nothing else to do on it, but I spent hours on it. I won't talk about Pokemon this much in this video. Let me know if, uh, if y'all care about Pokemon, I'll talk about it more because I do love it. If y'all hate it, let me know. You know, I don't care if it's love or hate in the video, in the comments, just uh, comment, let me know. Like the video if you like it. Like the video if you just like Copenhagen Long Cut. Uh, I lost a subscriber just because I admitted that I've been to jail. That was kind of stupid. I mean, anybody can go to jail. I, I mean, I'm not a rapist. I'm not a murderer. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you why I went to jail. It was a DWI, and I wasn't even drinking that night. I was drinking the night before, and, you know, some some people woke me up at, like, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., and told me I had to go home. So, of course, I start driving home, and the reason I wrecked, I didn't wreck with another car or nothing. The only reason I wrecked is because I looked down for, like, two seconds. And I just went off the road and my car got stuck. And of course, whoever lived right there called the cops and the cops come, they smell alcohol, they think I'm drunk at 6 a.m. They do a breathalyzer, a breath, a breathalyzer and I only blow a .04. But, you know, that was enough because I was only 17, 18 at the time. But now, I'm almost 22, and I haven't made any more mistakes. Um, the second time I went to jail, it was a assault and battery. But the guy that I fought, he's the one that started the fight. And I guess I was the one that ended it. I mean, he's the one that got in my face. I asked him straight up if he wanted to fight. And he took a step closer. He was like nose to nose with me almost. So I took that as a yes. And I popped him one time in the eye. Uh, I gave him such a black eye that he immediately um, busted open and was like bleeding, not from the eye, but right below the eye. Um, I felt bad. I popped him once. I walked away. He, of course, uh, got back up. He fell against the car. Like he would have fell to the ground, but he fell against the car. He came towards me. And I was already done with the fight. I popped him once. I was like, you know, you learned you learned your lesson from one pop, hopefully. But he ran after me. And I started defending myself. Um, I didn't hit him in the face any more than that. I hit him in the face once. He came back after me. I hit him in the stomach maybe, I don't know, eight times. I was just like, do, 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 do. I don't even know how many times I hit him in the stomach, but made him lose his breath. He stopped. He didn't come after me anymore after that. Um, I'm proud to say that, that, you know, I whooped his ass, but I'm not a fighter. I don't want to fight. I just want friends. That's all. I don't start nothing. But if someone else starts it, I'll finish it. Because I don't like drama. I don't want drama. But, uh. Yeah, popped him in the stomach a few times. I walked away completely, walked down the street. I kept on walking away so he wouldn't come after me anymore. But without my knowledge, after he lost the fight, he called the cops and said that I beat him up. And so that's why I went to jail because the cops thought I was running. 
but I was just trying to get away from the fight. I was being the good guy. I was trying not to fight. He wanted to fight. I finished the fight, and then I go to jail for it for uh, three and a half months. And the DWI, I went to jail for 15 days, and that was, you know, a year beforehand. This video is getting way too long. If y'all want to know anything else, I'll say it in the next video. Crow out.